I broke my ankle and had to have surgery and like um, plates put in with screws to hold my ankle together because I'd fractured it so badly. Mm-hmm. And we went through the whole trauma about falling over, going to the hospital, the surgery, the recovery, how I didn't have my mum and dad anymore because I passed away and how that upset me because I was dealing with that. And so like what happened after we did the, the tap along, normally I get up from the chair and I've got my leg up on like a... Um, like a bucket under the desk here to like keep my leg elevated. I just got up and walked out to the lounge room and there was no stiffness. Normally once I start walking, I'm hobbling to, to kind of warm it up. And I just walked out to the lounge room and it was like I was walking like my leg, like nothing had happened. Mm-hmm. And then the next day I felt really good in my head. I felt mm-hmm. just a lot more peaceful in my head. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the, the ease of motion was like much better. Very good. Very good. So again, so we addressed a lot of stuff. I mean, even though we're talking about a pain, we had to go back and clean up what you call history or historical pain or emotional drivers to it. And that's why you feel better. It's like, it's almost like you've had um, a, a, a non-surgical lobotomy, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's gone. <laughs> so again, yeah. Again, so we're just updating yourself and making yourself feel better. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So good job. Any Thank other you. Po- any other positive things that you've noticed since? I mean, we, uh, we've been tapping a lot of big stuff. Yeah, I get I get times where I feel that good that I honestly think, wow, like, is this what it feels like to feel good? That I didn't realize how much anxiety I must have a lot of the time that when I get periods of where I feel so good, I'm like, wow, this is unreal. It's just like, I haven't felt that good since probably, you know, my early twenties, you know, before I did that rebirthing thing that kind of knocked me around. So yeah, I just feel so at peace and I can just like lay around and watch TV and I don't feel guilty and I don't feel anxious. Like I've got to keep doing something to keep busy. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing is I always had to keep busy so that I wouldn't feel what I was feeling. Right. To avoid your emotions. Yeah. And right. I'll just get up in the morning and I'll put the TV on and watch a show. And I think, God, I don't even feel guilty. Like what's going on? Like, <laughs> you know, so stuff like that, that's really simple, but it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's been really good. Oh, good job. Well, you know, we worked on a big depression. Remember that was what the start of it, a lot of this stuff. Yeah. So we're, we're cleaning your head up. And by the way, we're neurologically changing you, you know? And like always worrying about dying, like my parents passing away. Like, you know, it's still there a little bit, I think, but it's way better. Like I was totally obsessing my whole yeah. days. Right. I mean, so That's no way to live, is it? No. No. It's not very often you meet someone that made a difference in your life. You know that. And we did that. Yeah. And had we not did what we did, you are continue to cycle the same old cycle. Yeah, you're just continue. in a spiral. Yeah, it gets yeah. worse. So it's yeah. very important to, to honor what we're doing here and honor yourself. So good job. Yeah. I will say this too, guys. It's extremely, extremely important that you keep tapping on yourself in the heat of the moment. When people bother you, trigger you, upset you, torment you, bother you, in any way possible because the truth is you're stuck with you and if you can change you and adjust you heal you solve your issues and change yourself you don't need any you don't need me to help you i mean granted you probably need my smarts and how to do it but once you know how to do it and you're doing it that's great come back and visit come get triggered i'm the trigger king you know (laughs) i know how it works i can help you get triggered But you know, the most important thing really is learning to love yourself and like yourself and not do scary things to yourself. We think it's smart. We think it's keeping us safe. It's just keeping us in a loop of misery. And I don't know about you, I've had enough. I'm ready for some fun. And again, like with these these tap-alongs, the more persistent you are working on yourself, the more the persistent changes you'll create. And I'll give you a warning, okay? This is a true warning. I've seen it a hundred times. uh, I, her name is, I can see her face. I don't know. Um, she came to the seminar. She had fibromyalgia, extreme pain. 
And she came, got sessions, got sessions, and she cleaned it up. When she went home, her pain was gone. It was gone for six months. She wasn't tapping on herself anymore. She felt good. She got what she wanted. But the problem is, is the brain starts accumulating unresolved emotional experiences in your life, and it starts throwing it back in the back of your head. Next thing you know, triggers will happen. Pain comes back. I'm teaching this to you to clean up stuff from your past so that you can handle today. But this is something you will use forever. This is a coping daily skill. This is not just when you have problems. It's just when you want to move things to make life easier for you. People who tap on themselves and change themselves is a sign of intelligence. It's ignorant to not own up your feelings and not to change them and to suffer. No more suffering, guys. We all know that we go through stuff we don't want to go through. But those of us who are smart enough to tap through it, adjust the pain, move through it, you've lived longer, you're healthier, and you feel better, and the results you'll get will be better. Never, ever stop. Continue doing this the rest of your life. If you walk away, you've got some changes, but your brain can use bigger problems that happen and accumulate a new set of problems. And I don't want problems. I'm lazy. I'd rather do it now than have to clean up the whole house when I can clean up one piece at a time. So continue using this on yourself. Every day you go to work, the best time to drive, tap is tap and drive because you got to focus on the road and instead of like this is like this. Pay attention, all right? Focus on the road, tap away your problems. Uh, get your, if get talent LMS on your iPhone or if you don't have an iPhone, the wannabe iPhone, download it, listen to my stuff while you drive because immerse yourself with truth. Immerse yourself with how to change yourself. Immerse yourself on how to like yourself. Immerse yourself on how to take control of yourself. Your life gets better. And another thing too, if you got kids in your life, you'll be a good um, display or a good example for them to follow. Going crazy is not a good thing for kids to watch you do. And to be stressed out and tormented is not another good thing. And to scare yourself is not another good thing. So like yourself, love yourself from within yourself, because what you do up here, you do to everybody else. Be nice. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We'll see you next week. Peace. See you guys.